So, I tested positive for COVID on um, Monday. Monday. I think it was Monday. On the weekend, on Saturday, I went to an event in another town and we took the bus. And we were in one store. And I'm not saying that's where I got COVID. I'm not saying that. But I just didn't feel like... I don't know. I just didn't feel safe in it. And we left pretty quickly. It was really, really cramped in there. There was a lot of people. There was no social distancing. And I know we don't have to social distance anymore. However, I tried-ish to. Um, and I mean, we, we go to swimming. We go do a lot of stuff, Uh, we take the bus, I mean, I've just been living life like normal, um, and then Sunday I start feeling a little crappy, and this doesn't make any sense because, um, they say when you have COVID you have it for five days before you actually get symptoms, but I don't know, I really started feeling crappy on Sunday. And then Monday I woke up um, with a pretty big high fever of like 102 or whatever. And then I had a really bad headache. And it was almost exactly like when I had my bacterial meningitis. And I'm getting that headache again right now, actually right here. I was super, super dizzy. And I just did not feel good. And I tested. And of course it was positive. And it was like right away positive. Which I had already known. But this is all bringing back. (laughs) Some PTSD from when I had meningitis. Not gonna lie. This has really been traumatic on me. I cried right away. And I didn't know what to do, and I still kind of don't know what to do other than I'm bunkered, bunkered, hunkered down in the bedroom, obviously, um, alone. And I have my phone. And I, if I want something, I'll tell my husband, he'll come in and then he'll put it over there and then I'll go and grab it. I've been watching TV, movies, mindless stuff, just to kind of past the time. I can't sleep at night. I can sleep during the day, but not at night time. And of course, the weather's been crappy. <clears throat> so, it's not really helping anything. I have a lot of chest pain today. That's new. And I, um, but I also have a really sore back, which I've always had or had recently. So, yeah, and I have a sore throat, a runny nose, headache, like I said, uh, my eyes hurt, but that could just also be because I've just been watching mindless TV and movies. I binge-watched, um, Orange is the New Black. No, I didn't. I don't know why I said that. I did not watch that. I don't know what I watched. Oh, Pretty Little Liars Original Sin, which has nothing to do with Pretty Little Liars as far as I can see, but anywho, um, I've been hanging out with my cats. I haven't been reading much because I just can't concentrate on the, the words, and I don't know. Once my fever goes down, then I'm like dead sweating, and then I'm freezing, and this is exactly everything that I went through when I had the meningitis. <sighs> so, needless to say, it's really stressing me out. I mean, I know I don't have meningitis again, or at least I don't think I do, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's really stressing me out. 
I didn't realize how much trauma I had to unpack from my hospital stay and my meningitis until this week. I don't know. I haven't even been playing Pokemon. I wanted to go sit outside for a little bit, but my legs are so sore and I'm super weak. I could barely make it to the bathroom. And it doesn't make any sense to me because I called my family doctor's office. Excuse me. And they said that in order for me to get a pill or get some medicine then I had to go to this like assessment place <clears throat> so I called this assessment place and I'm like I already tested positive like what do you want me to do and then they said that <coughs> they said that I'd have to go there and be assessed by them in order for them to give me the medicine Okay, so, A, not everybody drives, and if I did drive, um, I'm deadly sick, I already have COVID, I already know I have COVID, I'm sick, I'm not gonna drive there and, like, pass out on the wheel, um, yeah, I don't know, I have three vaccines, I mean, I'm sure that if I didn't, I'd feel way worse, but I don't know how I would feel way worse because, like, in the first couple of days, it has been pretty bad. See me just doing that, just doing this, I'm, like, really hurt and I'm super dizzy and now I have to go. I'll keep updating, maybe, if I can.